Hey, this is going to be a super quick collection video of Super Nintendo and N64 because I have so few uh, games for each of those consoles. I figure I could blow through these pretty quickly. Uh, so first up is what I call my stack of shame because they have no boxes. Uh, Super Mario Bros. All-Stars and Super Mario World. Um, Yoshi's Island, my, one of my cat's favorite games. He uh, absolutely loves the music and will come running when he hears the title screen start up and he absolutely loves the sound it makes when you throw the eggs and tries to chase after them on the TV. It's pretty funny. Then we got Ms. Pac-Man. And uh, Power Moves, also known as Deadly Moves, also known as Completely Terrible Game, but I have a thing for really bad fighting games. So, uh, yeah, but I have that because of uh, uh, a weird thing about bad fighting games. And, um, okay, so next up is Earth Defense Force, also known as Super Earth Defense Force or Super EDF. Nothing to do with the games that are out this generation, but uh, this is a pretty cool um, horizontal uh, shooting game. Um, cool space shooter. The cover kind of sucks, but on the back you can see some pictures of the graphics. Not a bad looking game. Pretty cool. I recommend it. Um, for a while I was on a Capcom completionist quest. Uh, where I decided I wanted to own every single game that was published and or uh, developed by Capcom and that is an unattainable goal and I'm crazy for ever thinking I could do that but started with um, some Super Nintendo games like King of the Dragons I got this, I don't know, fairly cheap on eBay a really, really long time ago I heard this went up to like 80 bucks at some point recently but uh, I'm not looking to sell and this was an amazing find back then um, this is Demon's Crest. I got this brand new sealed on eBay and it only cost me $15. Unbelievable. And I'm pretty proud of showing that one. And uh, like I said about bad fighting games, I love them. Here's uh, the most brazen and blatant Street Fighter clone to exist. Uh, Fighter's History. It was such an obvious copy that uh, Capcom sued over this. And uh, they didn't win, but the, 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 the um, comparisons can be made and you can pretty much clearly tell which character is supposed to be uh, a knockoff of uh, their, their Street Fighter 2 counterparts. And uh, this is a pretty cool game and I would have liked to have seen it on the uh, Data East Classics collection from Wii, but alas it is not there. Uh, this was an eBay purchase, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Or in the arcade, it was the second game, but on consoles, it was the fourth numbered game, followed by the Tournament Fighter series. Uh, I got this at Toys R Us for $14.99 back in like 2001 or something like that. Uh, I think they were Majesco reprints, and um, this is a good game, and I recommend it. And also in Castlevania land is. Dracula X. Um, this was called Dracula XX in, uh, on the Super Famicom because it is not the same game as the uh, PC Engine version. Close! It does have a lot of the same backgrounds, a lot of the same music, it's just not in the same order. And it has a much harder final boss battle on the, uh, the Super Famicom, Super Nintendo version. And all the blood was removed from the US version. And here is Arkanoid 2, do it again. Got this at KB Toys. I don't remember when. It was in the 2000s. It was kind of crazy to find it. That's why it's a little crushed on top. But it was on clearance. I got it for five dollars, and I was pretty happy to get it. And uh, that was pretty cool. Um, I also got some Neo Geo Pocket Color games and uh, a few other things uh, at the bookstore where I always bought my games. I got this nice, clean, complete copy of UN Squadron for two dollars. Unbelievable deal. And then, uh, last and certainly not least, I don't remember where I got this, but it is in fine condition. This is Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. And God, that looks delicious. This box, I could eat it. Not gonna, but uh, it's in pretty good shape. Next. 
Uh, we'll move on to some stuff I've had for a pretty long time. Um, Fist of the North Star 6 for the Super Famicom. This game is terrible. It's a fighting game. Um, paid $80 for this. It was almost 100 after shipping from Die Hard Gamers Club. Unbelievable price for a crap game. This I got from a dude on eBay for about $45. Not bad. This is Parodius, which is a parody of the Gradius series that, they, uh, that Konami made themselves. Konami made themselves, and um, it's a lot of fun. Horizontal shooter. Uh, funny, weird, very decidedly Japanese. Uh, Super Valus 4. Um, this is the Japanese version box, but it's actually the American game inside of a Japanese uh, case. Um, I did that myself, and uh, I also did that with uh, this Japanese version of Magic Sword. This is actually the English language version inside of a, uh, a Japanese Super Famicom shell, and I used the American labels. And it doesn't look, the cosmetic, they look, they look terrible, but um, uh, I wanted to fill those empty boxes with something, and uh, I ended up getting the U.S. versions of the game. And I found two Super Famicom games, swapped out the chips, swapped the labels, and then took the, the, the Dragon Ball Z games back inside of American cases and got my money back. Um, Super Aleste. This was known as Space Megaforce in the United States. Very great shooter. Um, it is a vertical scrolling shooter. And uh, this bear is more in common with a... a uh, blazing lasers than it does um, Star Soldier. And speaking of Star Soldier, so for the N64, not Star Soldier, a last day. Speaking of Star Soldier, though, for the N64, Star Soldier Vanishing Earth. This is not very good. Um, the ones on the on the uh, PC Engine are much better. And then uh, I got Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. I got this at Blockbuster Video for about $6.99 back in 2001. This was the reason I got an N64. And I never, ever beat the game. Um, next is, uh, I was on a Star Wars buying binge. And I got Shadows of the Empire for, off of eBay. And also off of eBay was Rogue Squadron. And, um, And last but not least is uh, Wipeout 64. Not that great on the N64, but it is a Wipeout game, and I am uh, a big fan of the series. And I have all all of them except for the very first one on PlayStation. I don't have that game because I think it's a long box only. And uh, if it does exist in a jewel case, it might be greatest hits only. And I don't want one that has a green label. I'll I take the long box over the the. Uh, Green label. So uh, that wraps that up. That's my collection of N64 and um, Super Nintendo games. Let me know if there's anything out there you think I should have on N64 because uh, I don't really play, play that system very much and I know what I like as far as um, uh, Super Nintendo stuff goes. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that video of my collection, and uh, if you've got any recommendations, just leave them in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.